Greetings, Suit Sages, it's me, James, your BA Sensei, back with another Power Query Tutorial! In today's video, we are going to use List Transform Mini once again to do something rather cool. So, we have here a table where we have employees. We got their old roles and their new roles. Not all of them have a new role, alright? And then we have old organization, new organization. Not all of them have changed organizations. What we're going to do with this data set, let's take Philly here. Basically, she changed roles and organizations. So what we're going to do is we're going to create two rows for Philly. The context of the first one is a role change and an organization change. What was the old value, the new value. For someone like Victor that only changed organizations, we'll have one row. And we say org and we change organization from that to that. Well, enough talking. Let me show you how to do it. All right, so as always, you click your data set, you go to data and you say from table or range. And that opens Power Query. So now the list transform many function needs a list. As you can see here, we have a table. I want to reconvert each row into a list. Let's quickly do that. Say table, two rows, source, and we say, okay. And now this created a list of a list. So you can see the first row, first list item is the first record. Second one, third one, fourth, fifth, and sixth. Okay. I'm going to leave that there. Let's start a new query, blank query. And then here I'm going to open the advanced editor and I'm going to create blank list to actually show you how list transform to many works. So we're going to say outer list and I'm just going to paste in first record over there. And you can see we have a list of those records. Wonderful. Okay. What I want to do is first thing I want to do is I want to first extract all the new roles and the new organization. So I'm going to use this function remove nulls and I'm going to say list remove nulls and I'm going to remove the nulls from my outer list. I want to look at 0, 1, 2. That's the new role outer list. I want to look at 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Cool. And I want to return remove nulls. That's going to return all the new, that's the new role and that's the new organization. If this was null, let's say manager was null, then you would obviously have one item. So let's create a new version of that list. By the way, I'm just showing you how to build, I'm just showing you examples so we can use list transform many. And I'm gonna wrap this as a list of lists. And now we're gonna start our transformation. And this is where we do the magic with list transform many. Yes, cool. Let's quickly look at our function uh, documentation. First thing that we need is we need a list. So I can just simply say, take the outer list. There's my list. Second thing, I need the collection transform function. Now what this does is it takes this single row of data and it's going to create the many side of it. And I'm going to use the remove nulls there. So I'm just going to say, take this and paste that in as our collection function, All right? And if we look at the documentation, that is always indicated as a X with a rocket ash. So I need to do X with a rocket ash. And then we just replace the outer list with the X and the X. And now we have our collection transform function. I'm going to show you what that means right now. This actually creates the many. Because there are two items on our list, a changed organization, a changed role, there's going to be two, it's going to create two rows of data for us. Okay, so I'm quickly going to do this one. Let's look at the function. Now we have the result transform. Result transform requires you to put X, Y, and then that, right? So let's quickly say, say I and X, cool. And I'm gonna say, what is I? I, look at the transform there, is literally the list. So you can see we actually created two rows of data. See, from that one row, we actually now have two lists. Now, if I do the X, the X would simply be the two values that we're replacing, right? So let me quickly put it into context. Let's say, give me I, zero and give me x in a list. Let's see what that gives us. So you can see it basically tells me Philly has a role change to manager and she has a uh, organization change to Morgan Stanley. So this created two records based on this thing. So it found two objects, it created two records. If this, let's say Morgan, let's say Morgan Stanley was null, it will only have one record, right? So this collection function, collection transform function, actually produces the two records. Okay, so remember now in context of the two rows we're generating, we can either change the role, we can change the organization. Now knowing that, I can write a little formula in here. I can say I, right, for 
which is this last thing, the last thing that we change, which is the organization. If I4 is equal to the X, which is either, um, uh, which either the manager or the organization, it should return a uh, true, or, true or false. So you can see the first one is a false because that's the manager change. The second one is a true because that's the organization change. Correct, that's awesome. So now let's convert that into a number. Number from, and that's gonna give me now, false would be a zero and a true would be a one. Zero and a one, cool. Now that's quite cool because we can use properties of lists to say, you know, if you're a zero, then bring, make the value, uh, it's the, the change context is role. If it's a one, the change context could be organizational change, right? So we're going to use that now. So I'm going to say, cool, let's do a, a nested let. So I say let and I say make this F, correct? And we say in role. If there's a role change, it is zero. If there is an org change, it is one, given the function there. So zero, one. So I'm just going to say, okay. But before we do that, let's kind of like build our data set. So let's quickly check. A role organization. The one who was a role change, the one is organization change. Pretty cool. Let's build that out a little bit. In a bracket, give me I, position zero, which is the employee name, right? And then give me the role. The next thing I need to look at is if it was the role, I need to find the old role and the old company. So let's first then put in brackets. We say I, this is position zero, one. So that is position one. And now the other one is I, the old company is zero, one, two, three, is three. And we also use the function and we close that one out. So let's see what we build over there. Now we can see Philly changed the role. The old role was analyst, this one. Philly changed organization. The old organization was BlackRock. So now we just need to add the new one. All we need to do there is say, and and bring the x back check what's going to happen now basically it's going to tell me philly the change was role analyst to manager and the second one philly change organization blackrock to morgan stanley pretty cool all we need to do now is take this and create a table out of that now i'm going to say table from from rows yes and i just need to give the column names the first column would be called employee Second column would be change context. And the uh, third column would be old value. And this one is the new value. And we just close that up. See what happened. There we go. There's our table. There's our table. We actually did it. We actually did it. So now what we're going to do is we're just going to go back in there. Let's look at our old table query. There's open that up. And I'm simply going to copy all of this out. Yes creates this list of the list for our data set. And I'm just gonna replace that in there. So let's replace all of that. Foop. And we say, put that custom in the outer list there and that should do the trick. Check that. There we go, there we go. Let's take it back into Excel. And just check this out. So Philly had two changes, but someone like Kurs or Victor only had, Kurs only had a role change and Victor only had an organization change. Pretty, pretty cool. Isn't that excellent? So list transform many you can do magical things by creating new rows in your data set. That's it for me. BA Sensei signing out.